Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I have another Organize With Me video. You guys know I love to cook, so I have a ton of spices and everything was getting so cluttered. I couldn't find anything and I just needed to come up with a new system. So I'm gonna take you guys through the entire process today. And I really hope you guys enjoy organizing with me. So I decided to start with the cabinets and this is where I keep all of my bigger spices and the liquids and things like that. Um, so I just took everything out and then I wiped everything down with disinfecting wipes. And I decided to transport everything onto the table so I could work a little bit better. So I got these mason jars, they come in a pack of 12 for about $15 I want to say. So I decided to transfer everything into these jars. I just really wanted a cleaner look, uh, but if you buy a lot of the same things over and over again, then this is definitely a really good way to go. You could also add some labels to these mason jars, but personally I love the clean look without the labels. Or you could also put labels underneath the jar in case you need to be reminded of what everything is. As you can see, everything just looks so much better. It looks so neatly organized. While I was doing that, I took the opportunity to get rid of any spices that I wasn't using. And all of these, I tried one time. I'm not even exaggerating. And I just either didn't care for them or my husband didn't care for them. So I'm passing these on. I also went ahead and wiped down all the containers that were sticky or dirty. Cause you know, a lot of these liquidy containers, they tend to leak. Then I moved on to the spice drawer and I like to keep all of my, my smaller spices in a drawer right next to the stove because it's easier for me whenever I'm cooking and I just like the way that it looks a little better. So I did the same thing, I took everything out and I wiped everything clean. And I started sorting through all of the condiments and got rid of anything that was super old. And I like to buy all of my condiments in the same containers like this. That way I can refill them later on if I need to. So these were completely empty so I took off the labels and cleaned off the sticky part. And an easy way to clean it off is just to take some extra virgin olive oil and it comes right off. And you could totally relabel these, but I don't have any labels on hand and I wanted to utilize things that I already had. I didn't want to go out and buy new things. So I did that and I started reorganizing everything back in my drawer. And this spice organizer I got a while back from the container store. I'll leave links to it down below if you guys are interested in it. So I put all of my glass ones in this clear container and I staggered a few of them just to make them fit a little bit better. And then I arrange all of my other spices next to that and they all just fit so perfectly. Once the spice drawer was nice and organized, it was time to put everything back into the cabinets. I needed something to add a little bit of height for the things that were going in the back. So I just found these, um, this one's like an old tray that I had and then a Tupperware that had no lid. I just flipped it upside down and used that to prop items up and it works perfectly. So I was playing around with it and just trying to figure out how I wanted to organize everything. And my ideal way would have been to use a Lazy Susan on one side, especially for all the condiments that I reach for on a daily basis. And then once I put it in the cabinet, I realized that it was too big and I couldn't close the doors all the way. So I had to take that out, went back to the same little propping system and just kept it like that. And towards the back, I just put all of the things that we don't reach for as often. And then in the front, I put the things that we reach for on a daily basis. I also try to keep it by category, so you, you'll see that one side has all the hot sauces. And then I have all of the international spices in the middle. Um, even though it has that bar that obstructs your view, I still know it's there. I also had this clear container. I think I got this at the dollar store, I'm not sure, but I put all of my little loose packets in it. And there I am doing my happy dance after everything is neatly organized. And I feel like it could be a little better organized, but I wanted to use items that I already had on hand. I had these little chicken bouillons and they were in a really huge container. So I put those in a little clear bowl and I set it on top of the container holding all the packets. So this is what I was talking about, putting all the hot sauces in one section and then making a, some of them a little bit taller so I don't forget about them. And then this is what the other side looks like where I have the oils and the vinegars and things like that. 
And I decided to put all of the mason jars on the second shelf. And these are things that I don't reach for on a daily basis. I have a lot of the same spices down in the spice drawer next to the stove. So this is more backup. And I just love that it looks so much more organized this way instead of having a bunch of different containers. And I have all of the liquids in one shelf and all of the dry stuff on a second shelf. At the very top, I decided to put all of the backup backup. So like the, that giant thing of soy sauce, all my baking stuff at the very top because I'm not a baker and I bake maybe once a year. And this way I can just keep the stuff that I use every single time I cook right next to the stove in my drawer. And I absolutely love the results. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have so many more organization videos on my channel and I will leave all of them listed down below. I have pantry organization, bathroom organization, closet organization, and um, yeah, I'll leave all of those linked down below. And make sure you subscribe if you like these type of videos and I will talk to you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.